Hello, gorgeous souls. I am Lady Stars of Fire. My real name is Michelle Espinosa, and this is the weekly healing messages for December 26th through January 7th. Before I get into uh, the video and into the healing messages, I want to say first off to everyone that I do hope that you had a Merry Christmas, and I wish you a Happy New Year. Please be safe. With that being said, there's a saying. <laughs> there's a saying that we often hear, and we tend to give each other as advice, but I think we say it, and it kind of goes in one ear and out the other, and we don't always listen to how powerful those words are. Because it's kind of what I'm being given right now from spirit. What does your conscience tell you? Conscience. Not your consciousness, not your awareness, your conscience. That's that good old-fashioned gut feeling, that gut brain. Now, some of us, is we've gotten or awakened, some of us have gotten better at listening to that. Some of us are far from understanding that. Look, I can comprehend eclipses very well. And this set of eclipses, incredibly well. I was born as a Leo. I'm a sun Leo. I'm a moon Cancer. And then I'm a rising Virgo. So I'm a detail-oriented, pain-in-the-ass eclipse in itself. And... I'm transiting on my um, nodes, south and north node right now. So I'm very much picking up this energy. And when I bring these energies to you, it's because of what I understand from what spirit points out to me in astrology. Because I tend to go into some of the darker stuff in the Kuiper belt. And I pick up shadow energies when I do astrology. Plus, whatever it is that spirit is giving me. And what spirit is giving me has conscience written all over it. You've got to come out of the waiting room. You have to come out of the waiting room. Right now, I am getting like parallel Worlds, not universes, but parallel worlds. And this has to do with rising above that third dimensional world. Some people are third dimensional, that's all they are. And unfortunately, that's all they're ever going to be. And then there are those that are coming out of it and learning how to rise above it. And then there, there are others that are like five dimensional and higher. And they're looking back at those that are th three dimensional. There is pain all over this. There is shifting energies of courageousness begging to be heard. And people are getting bold. Bold and coming out crazy with ego. Just, I'm going to tell you what I need. Or I'm going to do as I damn well please and on you. But that doesn't mean that they're listening to their conscience. You see, conscience is going to tell you when you've done the right thing and when you've done the wrong thing. When you can sleep with yourself and the choices you made at the end of the day and throughout your life. Ego is not. Conscience is the gut feeling. The problem is sometimes we question the gut feeling and we fear Doing what we truthfully have the power to do. But we fear it because we're not courageous enough. I am getting that we are going through levels of understanding this. Not conscious awareness. We're definitely going through that. But we're going through levels of understanding consciousness when it is related to the conscience will tell you when you're creating inner chaos or inner peace. We talk about shining our light, being authentic, coming out with our true, real self. 
some of that is us coming into our power right now and we're coming into ego and we're just letting it all out and we're shining our light, but we're not shining light. We're shining bold courageousness. And we're doing it e egotistical ways. We're being ballsy and we're finally standing up for ourselves. But are we standing up for ourselves in the right way? This is what I'm talking about. This is getting past your own heartbreak warfare and unshackling yourself and removing the thorns from your conscience. Because that's how you find inner peace. You see, I was told earlier this week by spirit, are you not eternal? Are you not eternal? We've come to realize in science that the soul goes somewhere. We don't know where it goes. We don't 100% understand that. But we do know we are everlasting. We are eternal. We do go on. And what I was being given is, are you not eternal? We are everlasting, changing. We're like a flame. It moves. It moves, it shapes, it shifts. It blows in different directions. Just like the mood does, just like our feelings do, just like our emotions do. But when we relate our inner peace, our conscience to conscious energies and awareness, then we are able to rise above that third dimensional world and realize we're creating our eternal to be whatever we're choosing to create it to be. The only thing that has power to will over you is something that has more will than you do. And it will win. If it has more power to will its way than you do. But this is about finding inner peace within the power you choose to will. So that you can make healthy, appropriate, smart, soulful healing changes within your life. And truthfully start nurturing the direction you want it to go. By the time we have that lunar eclipse. Because these things are being brought into your awareness. It is a solar eclipse. Prior to that lunar eclipse that is going to take place, I think it's on January 11th. The same day Uranus goes direct. And I am being given the bull, because it's Taurus. I am being given the bull ready to charge Ready to stampede out independence, individuality, uniqueness, freedom, self-worth, self-value, self-esteem. Ready to full on go into charge motion and let the world know how it's going to shine. This is time to get yourself in check prior to that lunar eclipse in cancer of nurturing yourself right. Or continue to neglect yourself. And then understand what that's going to bring to your independence. And how you can stand sure-footedly. And start to build upon it in your outer com community. Your outer world. Your outer relationships. We are solving relationship issues that we have been dealing with for 20, 30, and 40 years, they are coming to an end. You have Mercury that's going to move in to Capricorn on the 28th. You have New Year's that's going to take place in Pisces. That's no accident. Pisces is all about magic, but it's also about where you get taken advantage of. Then you have on the 3rd, Mars enters Sagittarius. Remember, my darlings, are you not eternal? The only thing that has power to will over you 
is something that you think has more power than you do. And if you keep believing everybody else's power is more powerful than you, then it will be. But will you choose from ego or from inner peace? Listen to your conscience. I love you guys. Bye.